Hello dear student, this is Mr. Hassan Gabriel, your technology teacher again. Today we are going to talk about Unit 4 and we are going to learn how to use the keyboard. So we are going to learn keyboard basics. Let's start. Our objectives for today, what is a keyboard? Parts of the keyboard using the keyboard and how to improve our computer skills by using the keyboard when we type. What is a keyboard? A keyboard is one of the primary input devices used with a computer. I already taught you this uh, at the beginning of the year, correct? But today we are going to go deeply with the keyboard, how to work on the keyboard and uh, make words and type numbers. A keyboard is composed of buttons used to create letters, numbers, and symbols, and perform additional functions on the computer. We are going to talk about this later on. Parts of the keyboard. As you can notice over here, this is a keyboard which is divided into many sections. So this section is the number keys. Here on this side also we have a numeric keypad. We can also type or press on the numbers. This one is called function keys. These are called the navigation keys. I can move through the document using the arrows or I can delete. This one over here is called typing keys, where I can type words and text. Parts of the keyboard again. The number keys across the top of the keyboard are also found on the right of the keyboard. I already showed you this earlier. The letter typing keys are in the center of the keyboard. I also showed you that earlier. The symbol keys to the right of the letter include symbols such as the question mark and full stop. The keys that surround the letters, numbers, and symbol keys on the left, right, and the bottom of the keyboard help you to choose where and how you type. We are going to practice this later on. Letter, Shift, and Enter keys. Pressing the Enter key moves your cursor down a line. So when you press this button over here, which is called Enter, it will go to a new line. Pressing the Shift key allows you to type capital letters and the symbol at the top of the key. For example, these are the letter keys. If I hold with my left hand the Shift key, and press on Z, it will type the capital Z on your screen. Or if I hold shift and press number four, it will not type four. It will type the dollar sign on the top of four. Spacebar. Spacebar is used to allow you to add spaces between characters or words. We are going to see that later on too. On this slide, I have three new keys. Backspace, delete, and the arrow keys. Pressing the backspace, this button over here, allows you to delete your words. If I want to delete my word, I just press backspace. Pressing the delete key, which is this one, will delete your typing. The arrow keys over here, you can see left, right, top, and down, allows you to move your cursor in all direction on the page or screen, up, down, left, and right.
Hello again. Now I'm going to teach you how to use the keyboard and where or which program that you are going to use to type in. First of all, we have to go to the search bar over here and click the search bar and type Word, W-O-R-D. You can work on Microsoft Word or the WordPad inside Windows. So I'm going to choose Word 2013. It might be 2011, 2010, 2018, 19, 20. It doesn't matter. All of them are the same. So I'm going to open now Word 2013. Choose blank document. And I'm going to start typing with the keyboard. I'm going to say, hello, dear students. Now we are wondering, how did H become capital letter, D become a capital letter, and student become a capital letter? Okay, when I type anything, I'm going to hit enter now. Remember this, I'm going to hit enter to go to the new line. If I just type hello, hello, press the space, it will automatically make the first letter of the beginning of the sentence capital. But here, if I type dear, the letter D over here, it's not capital, right? But if I use the backspace to delete that word, I told you about this earlier, right? I'm going to use now a backspace to go back. See, deleting the letters. Now I'm going to hold shift, as I told you in the lecture area earlier, and press D, the letter D on the keyboard. It will become capital D. Watch, D. Now I'm going to press E, A, R. Now I'm going to type student, right? But I'm not going to just write student like this because I need to put a space between the two words, between the two characters, right? As I taught you before. So I'll press the space bar on the keyboard. I'm going to have a space. Then I'm going to type students. Students. And there you go. Now, if I want to move around the document, I have to use the arrow keys on the keyboard. If I want to go to the left, I just hit the left arrow on the keyboard. Watch the cursor moving now to the left. Can you notice this? If I want to go up, I use the up arrow key. If I want to go down, I'm going to use the down arrow key. If I want to go to the right, I'm going to use the right arrow keys. Okay, let's play and learn typing now. Click on the link below to play Typing Rocket Junior game and test your skills. If you click over here, it will take you to a website where you can test your typing skills. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I hope to see you soon at school. Good luck everyone.